So what's on my mind today is again how important it is to never stop working on yourself or understanding the messages of your body, what it means when your body has certain aches or certain wrinkles and puffiness even. So I get treatments from an acupuncturist and because I have migraines again and it was better when I had regularly uh, cranial sacral therapy and body organization. Now I don't get that so often anymore and I want to reach out to get treatments and not just giving treatments. So one of the treatments that I'm now getting is cranial sacral from a student of mine as well as a twin hour massage and from an acupuncturist. So he said to me, you know, your puffiness around the eyes and the wrinkles here, they show that your spleen energy is too weak. And I thought, oh yeah, actually I know that, but I didn't think about that. You know, when it comes to your own stuff, you're sometimes, naya, a little bit stupid. Or blind so he said don't drink iced cold uh, drinks and don't eat cold food and don't eat sugar and I said to him you know I, I don't do that I like cooked food I don't drink iced drinks and I rarely eat something sugary and then he said okay that's then your constitution you have inherited that from your parents so i can help you strengthen your spleen and so when i came back from the first treatment i just had one up until now and i will have more my husband said oh my god your eyes are not swollen and you don't have the wrinkles underneath the eyes of course it came back now i have to go more regularly and uh, also get, you know, the nutrition uh, done and all these kind of things that I, I actually, where I help myself, but sometimes you can only do so much. And what was so astonishing, how much it helped. And I thought I'm happy that I don't, that I don't get any other treatments that are just on the outside because otherwise he wouldn't have noticed and he couldn't strengthen me from the inside because I live now in an area um, that is the opposite from where I lived before. Um, before I lived in an area where naturopathic medicine is a, a big deal and I'm a naturopath myself you know and doing things from the inside the only problem that they had was that they wanted that everything was paid by the insurance and when it wasn't paid by the insurance they wanted to save the money for the car and for the other house and for even more furniture and stuff you know and that was a little bit their problem it has to be paid by the insurance otherwise I can't take it and that was just the mentality uh, but they knew about uh, naturopathic stuff so rarely anybody had a, you know a plastic surgeon but instead they had their naturopathic treatment and they knew what a what a twina massage was now it's exactly the opposite I live in an area where almost everybody has a plastic surgeon but rarely anybody knows what cranial sacral is body organization or twina massage you know so what I want to say is I noticed that I took certain knowledge for granted which is never good so it's always good to keep people informed and to be informed about the messages of your body another thing was for example I have this wrinkle here like forever and he said um, that's your stomach you have to strengthen your stomach too and um, you know I love it when you can do things from the inside so instead of having treatments done from the outside, which is a more, let's say, modern Western approach, um, this reminded me how important it is to look always on the inside first. And this is, in my opinion, more an Eastern approach. So both things can come together, the East and the West. 
and we can benefit from it. So the conclusion is never stop working on yourself. Never stop learning what it actually means when your body has certain things. Don't just numb it or, you know, um, dumb it down or... Um, just put something in it that that uh, takes away the the wrinkles or the pain. Just always look. If you want to do that, okay, go ahead. But always look. What does it actually mean? And how can I treat it from the inside out? What do you think? 